Hey YouTubers, adventurous campers, cold weather campers. I am in Douglas, Wyoming, outside of Casper. And I have a box. Look at this box. RBM. Hmm. Wonder what the hell could be in here? Ooh. It looks like a Ruski number. What can I be getting that has a bear on it and has an RU on it? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It looks Russian to me. Wow. Let's, uh, let's, and this is a shipping container. Let's see what's in here. Oh, open this up. Ooh, what is in here? Yep, definitely is Russian. Look at the symbol on there. Yep, that's definitely a Ruski thing. I wonder could be in there. Oh, oh, that's right. I ordered this. This is my medium bear camping stove. Yes, boys and girls, we're going to show you all about this stove and what's going on with it. And so uh, due to editing issues, we will continue on here, but uh, let's we'll talk at you a little bit later and figure out what's in here. Hey guys. So, there's other videos out there how these uh, are working on these stoves. Um, as you will notice, there's a steel plate here. And in turn, there's one that comes over here. But when you remove them and pull them out, you can have your glass uh, to look at your glass. So, I got the short stack on here right now. And inside here is our feeder. We're putting our wood in. All spot welded, just great uh, work craftsmanship on this. Had a little problem with the legs, but uh, that's it. You do get a pair of gloves with this, and the idiot, I left them at home, but I got other gloves in the truck to worry about. But then you also get this little shovel thingy um, to, to get your ashes out, which is very cool. Now, this is the front of the fireplace, and you notice that the chimney is right there. And then there's our Russian little symbol there. There's actually a baffling in there that the heat comes up, comes through, and then up the vent to give more of a heat uh, thing and to reduce uh, um, sparks and stuff coming out of the flue because they'll burn out in this area instead of going up the flue. So, um, this is what the other cover looks like over here slides in and out. I'm going to pop this one off uh, just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, and then I got to figure out where I'm going to put this thing. Uh, comes out there. Whoops. Loosen that up a little bit. There we go. I'll want to hand it with the camera here. And voila, she comes out. Easy as simple as that. So, got my coffee pot over there. It's going to go in the morning. I'm going to eat at the restaurants and stuff tonight. I'm not really going to cook on this. I'm going to put some beans on top of it. See what I find in the market to heat it up to see how well it goes. But, uh, see, all stainless steel. Craftsmanship, two uh, spot welds per uh, uh, nut. So let me just turn those in to eliminate a uh, nice case. So that is it for right now. So we'll see what this thing's gonna look like cooking up tonight. We'll talk at you later. Okay guys, here's the fire. Got the glass in there. It is so freaking warm in here, it's pathetic and there's hardly anything burning there. But uh, yep. But it, yes, it is freaking uh, hot in here. Hot comes to mind. Really hot. 
because I'm gonna even open up some windows here uh, to get some some of the heat going out of here. It's it's. I think the small stove can be good for this guy, unless it's really cold out. So who knows? But uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to cool this place down a little bit, and we'll talk at you later in the morning. And that's it.